Ah, uh, folks, so. <laughs> it is. Uh, plug up my camera here. Get a little charge going on on there. While we talk to you guys, okay? So. The aftermath show is going to be a little different today. I'm going to announce it while I'm on the road. I've been busy and that's Christmas season and stuff. And My daughter goes to school on this earlier schedule. So I got to do this, uh, you know, in a different way than I usually do. And you know what? You know what? I forgot her lunch. Forgot her lunch. So I'm coming out of the local food line here. Look at this, y'all. I got my ugly Christmas shirt on. My wife bought me this like four or five years ago, and it's been hanging in my closet ever since. It's a 2X, but it never fit me until now. So now I'm wearing it with pride, man. I'm telling you what, I am. It, it, to me, it's beautiful. It might be supposed to be an ugly, ugly shirt, you know, but it's beautiful. It got got Santa Claus on it, gingerbread house, some candy canes, some gingerbread men, and some of them green candy canes and them red ones, man. I'm telling you what, I love it. I love it. It's got a little little bow tie. Look at there. Making me look all Christmassy sophisticated. And it goes well with my uh, blue plaid flannel shirt <laughs> but anyway you know, uh, we'll, we go over the numbers you know that according to Angie's chart people had a rough week this week so uh, we ain't gonna you know, break it down too bad on everyone this week cause uh, we're gonna take it easy take it easy on some folks today yeah uh, there was some gains, and there was a big loss this week. Uh, uh, Miss Miss M, man, she killed it. She lost over five pounds, uh, and, and she did a you know silent weigh in, you know. And uh, let's see, Danielle did a silent weigh in. Uh, uh, Durf is uh, MIA at the moment. Hopefully, we'll hear back from him at some point soon. Uh, Big Country got back on the uh, back on the uh, chart this week as well. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, well, we can't forget about uh, <laughs> Miller. Miller is uh, really hanging in there lately. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, 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 that activity interests me, you know, because it is kind of stretching is really good for you I've, I've heard and read about that but the problem is I can't I ain't got to wear my house I can do it I'm six foot three and I can touch the ceiling so me hanging a pole would be just like me standing on the floor holding on to the pole I'd have to put it outside or something like that make make it make it out there but you know I do have my steps I do have my steps. I got my fitness watch going here and uh, right now I'm sitting at 7,000 377 steps. This thing is set for 8,000. It is 10:56 a.m. in the morning right now, and uh, I already got my 8,000 limit almost conquered. Now I would have conquered it all, but I had to leave to take my daughter to school. So before I left, I was at uh, uh, let's see, I was at 5,000. 500 and some odd steps so when I went in that grocery store just now I, I walked around the grocery store a whole bunch of times until I reached uh, what I say 7,377 so uh, I got a bunch of steps in while I was in the grocery store just now didn't push a buggy around but uh, I do it good you know on the steps and uh, well, that's uh, 300 and gosh I can't see that much eyes are so bad y'all I gotta go to an eye doctor I think it says 380 calories burnt so far so yeah that is really helping me with the weight loss it helped me get my birthday weight back down 
Uh, and this morning, I'm happy to announce that I was uh, back at uh, 246.2 pounds. So that's two pounds down from yesterday. I'm back at my low as of this morning, and uh, mm. now we're not. Well, now we don't quite have 20 pounds to lose uh, by the, by January first. We got more like uh, 18 pounds to lose. So I. <laughs> I'm excited about that. And I may not make the whole hundred, but I promise you this. I will come close. I will come close. Uh, now that I'm doing uh, Kayla Cox method a little more uh, in line with the way she does it. Now, it's a little different for me because she'll, she'll walk her six miles all in one shot before she has supper. That's why she when she chooses to eat her old mad is at supper time. Me, it's a little different. You know, I may eat mine earlier. But basically, it's kind of the same. And uh, that is my method. And uh, hold on, I'll talk more about that in just a minute. <laughs> Let me give these people my daughter's lunch. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, I was talking about uh, Kayla Cox and uh, the six miles to supper. And uh, y'all need to check out her YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave a link to that down in the description. She's got hundreds of videos on her weight loss journey. How she was able to do OMAD and eat whatever she wanted for that OMAD now and lose her weight. Now, just like me, she was doing it with just the OMAD in the beginning and uh, wound up, you know, going down to uh, a certain point in her journey and then the uh, weight loss stopped. That just ain't rattling too bad. I hope that ain't rattling too bad. But uh, her uh, her journey stopped, came to a standstill, and she, and it was like that for months. Then she started doing the walking part to finish off her weight loss journey. Hence the name Six Miles to Supper. <laughs> Uh, is that worse or better? Ah, I can't tell. Maybe I should just hold it. Maybe I should just hold the camera on me. But, uh, yeah, that is uh, the, the person that, you know, I didn't start out following her in my journey, but it's the one I started paying attention to the most. Because it's the closest thing to uh, that I could find to what I was doing at the time, you know, I've implemented all kind of crazy things like subfasting, uh, you name it. Uh, chicken and broccoli, uh, things that uh, you know she didn't do, but uh, you know that's just me, um, just giving things old tree out, but. Uh, here lately, I've been eating, you know, pretty much whatever the heck I want again with the steps as an OMAD, like a chili cheeseburger and french fries, and still wind up dropping a few pounds. So I'm really liking the uh, the calories out that I am uh, calculating through my, my watch. Now, I, I ain't doing quite six miles yet. You know, I'm old now. Give me a minute to get there. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, yeah, now just uh, in those steps, you know, that I took to uh, take my daughter her lunch, I'm now at uh, 7,451 steps. <laughs> and, and, you know, that's just a roundabout figure of things. I mean, all of y'all are doing these challenges. Like the sit-up challenge. Uh, 
and uh, the sit up challenge, you know, the 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 rumble challenge that we've been doing now for uh, months at a time. So I'm gonna give each and every one of y'all a challenge, and this is a simple challenge. I'm challenging each one of you out there who keep up with me to check out Kayla Cox, Six Miles to Suffer. I'll leave a link to her channel. You can just dig into her videos. Just uh, scroll through them and find the one that interests you the most. You know, how she got started, how she keeps maintaining after all these years, uh, about her books that she's wrote, and check out Kayla Cox. I mean, I see everyone struggling And uh, maybe it'll open up a door for you as well. So uh, that is my challenge to y'all. Not to do her program, but to just check her out and listen to what some of what she has to say. Because uh, for one, you know, she's, she's a middle-aged lady like myself. Uh, maybe a little younger than me I, I'm not real sure of her age and, and even though I do keep up with her somewhat I'm subscribed to her and I see her notifications pop up all the time I'm not don't 100% you know go by her her way but you know I, I do kind of follow those same type of rules you know on my protocol and uh, that way has been the funnest for me and, uh, you know, like I said, if I would have been, <laughs> if I'd have been doing these steps a lot sooner, uh, I'd probably been, you know, where I, where I need to be by now. Uh, but I'm going to use that to help me finish getting there. Uh, Saturday should be real interesting doing that meditating, uh, hunt. Uh, I should be able to, uh, you know, get in a, a pretty decent day, uh, of steps in. And uh, I've always wondered how much uh, steps and calories I burnt while I was detecting. So that, that'll be some form of measurement. And, and my watch does have, you know, where I can set a program on it, you know, from start to finish. Uh, like a training mode type of deal. Don't have metal detecting listed on there. I wish it did. That would be... That would be cool if someone would create a fitness watch that would uh, keep up with detecting, but I guarantee you this, it's more physical than playing golf. <laughs> it's way more physical than playing golf. There's a lot of exercise involved with metal detecting. I'm here to tell you what. You don't believe me, try it sometime. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to... Uh, measure that against what my my what the watch says that my sister give me uh throughout that uh day of uh detecting and we got a new spot to go to we had a new spot to go to and then we got another new new spot to go to and this spot is uh may or may not be historically linked it may be a great day of detecting and it may not be the best day of detecting but we will find something in those wood if it's not nothing but shotgun head stamps and I will bring you along for every step of the way we are searching for uh, a campsite uh, that may or may not be on this property we've searched for it on the other side of this particular river and had no luck but now we're on the other side where some people say oh it what happened here and some people say oh no, no it happened over here so we're on the search for it see if we can find it anything you know would be great who knows you know all that property we may stumble across uh, at least an old home site that we didn't know was there or even a campsite you know because uh, if they camped in the vicinity you know there there could be a chance that at other points in time they could have camped where we're gonna be as well oh I missed my turn oh lord I'm dealing with a bridge out down here. And when I miss my turn, that messes me up in a big way. But anyway, uh, yeah, y'all just, uh, 
y'all just accept my challenge and go check out Six Miles of Supper, Kayla Cox. See what she's got to say. Uh, it may be something you want to give a good old tree out. It may not be. I mean, I'm not going to be offended either way, but it, it's, it's what works for me. And if I was to implement her methods, you know, 100%, I probably would have been, you know, done with this by now. But, you know, I'm doing the best I can, the closest thing I can do to mimic what she is doing. And uh, we're going to finish off this weight loss uh, with her method, that's for sure. And uh, from now on, I'm not denying myself uh, anything ever again because even with the uh, walking the food out I can even get the red meat off of me you know and not feel so bad eating it like I was with it just sitting in my stomach like that this uh, physical activity has went a long way toward helping me uh, fix myself oh lord I guess I will travel a different way home this time something had to come up behind me I was gonna turn around right here but there's another way around. I don't like this route as much, but I will take it. Nothing I can do. I can't cross a bridge that's not there. <laughs> well, it's there, but they're working on it. All right, folks. We'll uh, come back to you in a little while with what I'm eating for the day, and uh, we'll do the uh, wrap-up according to Angie's chart. And uh, we'll keep it simple today for everyone. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to put some information out there about what I'm doing and how I plan to, uh, you know, continue to uh, fix, you know, the rest of my weight loss uh, journey. It seems to be working good, y'all. seems to be working good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So today I'm going to get in. I'm not, I just keep talking. Today I am going to get in that 16,000 steps or more. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, so as you can see, I got a cut and a shave. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I got a haircut and a shave, but, uh, you know, it's slow Christmas after all, you know, well, let's, uh, do some slow Christmas. All right, we got the lights, huh? We'll do them different day. We'll do, we'll do steady on lights, huh? Steady on lights today. All right. Ah, there we go. Now we are Christmas up and ready. All right, so, uh, one more thing, one more thing. Too much light. Ah. Ah. All right, so, uh, this afternoon, me and my wife went to this mama pop, you know, our favorite one. And I got a baby club with fries and slaw and a banana pudding. And uh, no regrets at all. No regrets at all. Uh, food was good and I enjoyed it. So, uh, you know, you figured I'd clue that in there today. Oh, and as of right now, I still haven't finished getting all my steps in. But uh, I'm not far off. I'm not far off. I've got... Uh, 14,000 so far. 14,033 and we burnt off 728 calories. Doing pretty good today. Doing pretty good today. So we burnt off most of the food that we ate. You know, before we even ate it. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I guess we'll go over this Angie's List thing. Uh, Cause I said I would, and uh, we're gonna keep slow. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it simple today, y'all. I mean, that's some people had a bad week. I mean, and it is the holidays, and, and I, I, I'm taking a sabbatical from the uh, rumble for the next two weeks uh, until, uh, you know, after the first of January. And I suggest you all do the same thing, you know, take a take a sabbatical, take a little time off, enjoy the holidays, you know, figure out how you're going to get through it. We can all meet back up again on January 
the first at midnight. Let's all do a midnight weigh in. Let's all do a midnight weigh in and see where we stand. Of course, that might not be realistic, you know. Let's all do a weigh in first thing January 1st in the morning after we wake up. That'll give us a more accurate depiction of what our weight actually is. Alright, so here's Angie's list here. And we're going to go by this. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Alright. I'm just going to read it off to you because. Uh, Alright, so uh, my own personal weight. Uh, I started at 279, and uh, last week I was weighing uh, 246.8, which was my low. This week I was uh, 248.2, so I gained 1.4 pounds uh, over the week of my birthday. Well, I actually gained 10 pounds. I lost back down within 1.4 pounds, which I am very proud of, by the way. Uh, and actually, like I said earlier in the video, I am back down to that. Uh, oh, actually, I'm at 246.2 now, so I'm a little bit under what I was last week. So hopefully that uh, downward trend will keep going, you know, as I keep keep doing the steps. Because I really started doing them this week big time in a big way. Uh, big Country's back on the chart. His starting weight in the beginning of all this was 285.4. Uh... <laughs> And he had picked up some weight, so last week he was 305, this week he weighed in at 302.8 pounds, so he is actually losing weight. He had a loss of 2.2 uh, pounds, and uh, congratulations for being back on the chart. Uh, up 17.4 pounds from when he was doing started the Rumble Challenge with me. Uh, some time ago, but I am glad to see him back on the charts and actually dropping and doing well. Durf is MIA. His last weigh-in was 216.5, and uh, he was 230.5 starting out, which he uh, is now negative 14 pounds. So he's lost 14 pounds in the rumble, according to his last uh, last numbers. So uh, if y'all continue to uh, do this chart, that's kind of what mine's going to look like for the next two weeks. But I'm not going to be MIA. I'm going to be around. Just ain't going to be doing the weigh-ins. I'm going to keep you guessing until the uh, first of the year whether I pull this off or not. I don't know, y'all. It's kind of hard. Kind of hard. All right, then we're going to Miss Angie. Miss Angie started out at 228.2. Uh, Last week was when 197.8. This week was 203.6, so she gained 5.8 pounds. Um, doing some holiday stuff, uh, Christmas parties and stuff, you know, uh, from for the church and things and such as that. And uh, But she's got a negative 24.6 uh, overall, so that is good. And I know Angie will get that down and then some. Always does. Uh, not even worried about it myself. I know. <laughs> and, and like she said, you know, she is... Uh, gained more than that in the past you know doing celebrations so this time she didn't gain nowhere near as much so yes that is awesome that means your body is adjusting to your new weight and man and uh that means your body is adjusting to your new weight and you are finally you know settling down to your lower to your new lows Okay, so, all right, then we got Deliciously Danielle, Michelle. Uh, started in at uh, 321.0. Uh, last week was weighing 313.0. This week she weighed at 310.6, which is a loss of uh, 2.4 pounds. Man. Man. Which gives her 10.4 pounds overall. Ms. M. <laughs> Ms. M killed it this week, y'all. Ms. M started out at 196.8. Last week was 
180.7. This week was 175.2. She's out of the 180s, y'all. Congrats, Miss M. That's big. That's big. That's big time. Uh, with 5.5 uh, pounds lost and 21.6 pounds overall. Wow. I'm catching up with Miss Angie pretty good now. Just a few pounds away. Just a few pounds away from one another now. I meant overall, you know, as overall uh, as far as the rumble goes, you know. From when y'all both entered and stuff and such. As that. Let me make myself clearer there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, Miller Light started out at uh, 163.8. Uh, last week was way in 165.0. This week was at uh, 165.0. Uh, which was 3.4 pound gain so plus 4.6 pounds overall now Miller's been uh, doing this uh, uh, challenge you know with this fitness challenge that everybody's got going on some people are doing sit up some people are doing their own thing and uh, she is doing these uh, hanging sessions I, I'm not exactly sure what it's called but uh, it's kind of like a resistance training type of deal where you hang in place for a good long time and I see her be doing some twists from side to side lately so she's advancing in her uh, technique there and uh, I'm pretty sure results will come quickly I mean come on now we all go through these little gains and losses don't we I mean it's just a thing that happens and uh, Carnivore X uh, what was that what is that? Uh, this week, a 5.5 pound loss. She's 379 pounds starting out. Last week was 369.0. This week was 369. He gained 0 0.6 pounds, which is basically nothing. He's pretty much at a standstill. Uh, has lost 9.4 pounds overall since he started the rumble. And... Way to go, Ken. Way to go, Kenyatta. I think that just about covers everyone. Uh, I'm going to cut this here. Uh, if anyone, you know, wants to, uh, you know, continue doing the rumble, I will continue doing the breakdown accordingly into next week. Uh, Y'all go right ahead. Feel free. Uh, me, personally, I'm just taking a little sabbatical from it. Uh, trying to achieve my new year's resolution from last year trying to get that achieved 40 years up it is the 15th now i don't have long to go so uh eh, wish me luck encourage me on and like i said earlier in the video y'all check out kayla cox six miles to supper and uh, kind of see uh you know a little bit about what i'm all about uh but on a more professional level from someone who is way better at explaining it than i am that is my challenge to you all uh I hope you enjoy what you find there. Alright folks, that is all I have for today. So until tomorrow, y'all have a good one. Alright, I almost forgot before I go, we forgot the ringside rumblers. Or I almost forgot the ringside rumblers, so uh, let me run that <laughs> by you guys real quick. Uh, first of all, we had Desert Love. Starting weight was 210 pounds. Last week was... 207 pounds this week uh, desert love was uh, 206 I believe so another pound lost uh, so that's about what four pounds total uh, for the for the for the rumble since uh, they started reporting to us and congratulations desert love and then Taylor uh, started out at 135.6 last week was 132.8 and this week was 129.6 a loss of 3.2 pounds awesome job Taylor uh, which uh, brings them to six pounds of weight loss uh, overall sorry I almost forgot but uh, it's never too late to add it in that's the beautiful part about editing and video 
All right, folks, now until tomorrow, y'all have a good one.